so and I'm in place. So welcome back. And if you're new, welcome as well. I am Matt, I'm 32 and I just finished up building my van. When I'm when I'm roadworthy, I will make a tour video and you will get the full tour about this van and how I build it and how it looks and everything like that. But in this video, I want to talk to you about why I at 32 decided to actually sell my house, buy a van and build it out and now living in it. And of course, what's the future plan with all of this and what you can expect of this channel. So this video will be a little bit more laid back. So grab your cup of coffee or some other drink and I will get right into it. Uh, the first point, I actually wrote myself a cheat sheet uh, just to have a bullet points because otherwise I can ramble and ramble and ramble forever. So the first bullet point I have is who am I? As I said in the beginning of the video, my name is Mats. I'm 32. I had a house, but I sold it to buy this van to build it out. Uh, I have a cat, so she's gonna live at my father's place as I'm out roaming around. Uh, and what's great with that is that I gonna be able to see her. And that's nice, that's really nice because it's always a pain to leave a, leave a pet away. Uh, and I have actually promised her not to do that because she had a rough time uh, growing up uh, as far as I know when I took her uh, and uh, I just wanted to promise her not to go through any of that again so my father be able to take her is perfect I worked as a train conductor for over five years so I have a little bit of a people problem so to say <laughs> It's fun with people, but but yeah, those, those five years, it, it got too much. My senses was more or less overrun, overrun because with with the combination of the work that was too much for me, COVID, I had problem with the company that run the trains and things like that. And me wanted to do something completely different. I just one day collapsed in my bathroom I was just about to go to the work. I had the keys in my hand and was ready to lock the door and go out to my car to drive away. And I just got a panic attack. And I never experienced that before, but, but uh, I know now that it had begun a long time before. I was more often sick than I usual. And my usual sick days is simply none or maybe once a year. And I had for the, previous six months before I got a panic attack had a lot of sick days and I didn't know why and I often felt that I haven't the capacity the brain capacity to do the things I usually do I have not had a problem to keep a lot of stuff in my mind and to sort it through and see how to connect things and so yeah it was a lot of signs uh, that I was burning out and uh, unfortunately I didn't take that seriously and it got so severe that I ended up after those panic attacks to go on a really long sick leave I had to quit the job because with the situation I was in and and what the job uh, or what my job actually required it, it was a po it wasn't a possibility it wasn't working out and I I knew anyway that I didn't want to work there and that was one of the other main reasons I think I was a lot lot overdue on that work it was really fun to work there I learned a lot about myself about people how stupid they are <laughs> no I'm just kidding or not <laughs> Yeah, as a train, train conductor, having with people all day, all long, and yeah, you can imagine what that does with you if you are overly sensitive like I am. And I didn't really know that before I started the work, uh, how sensitive I actually was uh, with my senses and everything. But I, so, so at this point, I just, if, if I feel that I have to take a break, I just have to take a break because I have on my path back, I, I can say that I have been on the way to burnout again. So yeah, it's been a really wake up call and, and, and I think that 
this burnout was a blessing per se, even if it has been really hard and really, really, really tough time period for me. But but yeah, uh, it, it was it was needed, I think, because I have gone all my life being a peace, people pleaser and always done things uh, like I think that others want me to do and neglected what I truly want to do. Uh, and when you realize that that's not the way you should do because you're gonna get sick, you're gonna have problems, you, you, you are not fulfilling your own needs and at some point in your life it's gonna catch up. And if you don't tackle it then it's gonna catch up again and every time you catch up it's gonna be harder and harder. Uh, I just went into the wall, uh, more or less. I, I, a really, really, really severe burnout. My body just shut off completely. These years when I was sick was a little bit fussy and still are. But I think there was just one day. I just easily knew that if I stay in this house any longer than I have to, I won't survive. It wasn't me. It wasn't what I wanted to do. And I've been stuck in something that I don't want to do for a very, very long time. You, you, you just die inside and slowly wither away. And that's how it felt. And I, I am sure that if, if you're staying in that kind of situation, you're gonna wither away, literally, uh, in somehow. I'm a real believer that your soul has to express what it wants to express. That's why you're here. I did not allow my own soul to express what it wanted. Uh, not in that uh, regard that I needed to, to actually... Uh, be healthy. One day I just uh, knew that I had to do something and I know that I had a number on my phone to the real estate agent that I bought the house from from the beginning. So I actually called him up. He answered right away. I booked an appointment for him to come out and look at the house. And so from that day when I called him and booked the appointment it was more or less uh, put in stone that I will sell my house and move on. So the question is to what? And I know that I have had the idea of van life more or less, but in another way. I have years, many, many, many years before I even started uh, the work as a train conductor. And I worked there for five years and I was sick for four years. So it's a long time ago, but I know, know that I had an idea at that time of building a house on wheel. That was the plan that I had and that I wanted to do, but I never got around to it. Uh, there was things in my life at that point that I had to attend. I had an apartment uh, with a neighbor that was awful. I just had to move and it was in that way I, I find the house and move to the, to the house. So I'm glad for the house. Don't, don't quote me wrong, but, but, but in the end, it wasn't me, it wasn't for me, it, it wasn't my path. Uh, I think it was for a while maybe, just to get away from where I was. It was a wake-up call for me and I just knew that I can't continue with this anymore. So that was when I knew uh, that I'm gonna sell my house and do something else. I started out looking for a van. Uh, in the meantime, I tried to sell my house. It took about eight months because the market wasn't really that good at this time and I did actually ended up with a Ford Transit T T350 I think uh, the the building area inside is about 1.75 meters wide inside and 3.4 meters in the length inside and that's the area that I can live in. That's not the whole vehicle. This is just the dimensions inside the living space. And of course I had roughly two meters in height. I am one meters and 96 centimeters. So yeah, I had, I had to spare the height uh, both in the ceiling and in the floor. So yeah. So uh, I find it or my father find it actually just a mile away because I've looked at a lot of uh, transits and, and 
sprinters and other uh, vehicles for a really, really lot sum of money uh, in very, 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 very far away because there's I'm I'm on the countryside in Sweden. Uh, there's not much available around here. If you want certain things, especially vans that's in good shape and have the dimension that you want, it's like Malmö, Stockholm, Umeå, Luleå, you know, the big cities, the big, big cities. And in Sweden, the, those are the biggest cities. It's hard to find anything suitable out in the countryside. But somehow my father find a van for transit uh, just a mile away and it was out for 2500 and that's cheap that shape that's really really cheap and this was an uh, 2008 model so it's not new new but it's not old old so it was really nice to find this as close as I did of course it was a little bit of work on it uh, as you know if you watch my videos but uh, not as much that you would expect for for an old vehicle uh, and it has roughly 270,000 kilometers it's uh, roughly half the lifespan uh, these uh, kind of vehicles have so it's it's not new but a new engine is not that costly either so for 2500 bucks yeah it was a steal I think it was a steal. I think it was a really, really, really good purchase. So I borrowed that money from my father, bought the van because all my money was tied up in the house. It took roughly two months uh, after I find the van until I sold the house. And when I sold the house, I could pay off all my debts. I'm not, I'm, I'm in a great place now, but I'm not out of the woods yet. I'm, I'm trying to figure everything else out because I'm, I'm just getting back into living the reg regular life, uh, so to say. It's, it's like learning everything over again. That's how it feels for me, at least. So until I know, certainly know exactly what I want to do in the future, and what I mean with that is I might get a new house or or a apartment or something like that in the future but i told myself five years i'm gonna give myself five years i'm gonna buy a van build it out travel through europe and just be as much as i can because i'm in my 30s i'm never gonna get that back and i've already spent a couple of years being sick because I didn't do what I wanted to do. So if it's if it's not time now, when when will it be time? And with that said, we are almost catching up to what's the plan for the future. And I already, already touched on that a little bit. As I said, I don't really know. The future right now, at this point, is to find some kind of is to find something that I can live off. And what I mean is, is money, because I sold my house, yes. And I paid my debt, yes. I built this van, yes. And that's it. I have not that much left. And so I'm really, really thinking about how I should approach this. Most of us that choose van life, at least at least what I have seen on YouTube and for my own sake, there is always something behind it. And for me, it's, it was the urge to do something else because I, what I did didn't work and I got sick, but economic reasons was at play as well because it cost me almost 800 bucks. And then on that, it was food. So only 800 bucks to just get around every month. Now my cost is down to 150 bucks a month and food. So I'm uh, at a really, really much better place. Even if I'm at the same place with no work or job or something like that, I'm at least at a better place and I have a new home.
that I actually can drive wherever I want to drive it. And for time being, I am more than welcome to stay at my father's place as I figure everything out. And hopefully it will, won't take too long because I want to get out. But it, the last thing to figure out is actually the money, money issue. I hope this YouTube channel will one day support me a little bit at least. And everything you can do to help me out is to like this video, subscribe and, and comment, and share and do everything that you can do if you want to. Uh, if you like this video and subscribe, that will be more than enough. And I will be so thankful for that because it's going to give me a step closer to monetization on, on this channel. And that's in itself is huge. So thank you for that. So that was actually everything. And I can see on the timer that it's been 50 minutes. I have a little bit to edit, I think. Uh, I'm gonna put this out as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, it's been a wild ride up to now. And I hope the rest of my life will be a wild ride as well. Maybe in a different way, but yeah. Remember that life is yet another story and you are the one writing it. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you will have a better life. So with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.